Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two guys. Happy you joined me here today. I've been painting for the past four days since I got back from Texas with thick paints because I'm trying to teach myself all about them and eventually kick it up a notch and add my own twist to a few things. And today I came down here to paint with my thin paints again. I'm going to do kind of a cloud pour, kind of pearl pour kind of thing. And um, you need some really, really thin paints to do that. So um, our base coat today is in this cup right here, and please pay attention to the consistency, guys. When that paint rolls off that popsicle stick into the paint below, it immediately dissipates. That's some thin paint. Now, our pouring medium today is one part paint, one part Liquitex pouring medium, a half a part of GAC 800 and a squirt of Floetrol and then water. And I am so sorry I can't tell you how much water. It all depends on the consistency of your paint. This copper is a golden fluid paint. It took absolutely no water. This gold took very little water. It's a combination of uh, Modern Masters Gold and um, PBO or Pebio. <laughs> Messy voice said I said it wrong. PBO Pebio Gold Paints. That took a little bit uh, more water than the fluid paints and um, the Arteza two paints took a lot more water. So you just need to find your jam, guys, with um, your water amounts. Every paint is different. I wish I could tell you how much water went in each one of these cups, but let's talk about our cups. In this cup right here, we have yummy, delicious Treasure Gold Aqua Marine. But with my 50% off coupon, don't you know, at Michael's, this right here took a little bit more water. That is Arteza Pearl Sage Green. The Arteza paints take more water than most of the other two paints, guys. At least that's what I have found. Yummy, delicious right there. Arteza Pearl Cactus Green. This guy right here is a combination of the Modern Masters Rich Gold. Now, I'm not a tremendous fan of this gold. It has almost a green hue to it. So I added into it the PBO Pebio Studio Acrylics in the Iridescent Precious Gold. So started off with this and then added a squirt or two of that until I got it to the color that made me smile, guys. This right here, oh my goodness, be still my heart. I know I say that a lot, and this actually might need just a little bit more water. Look at that beautiful teal color. Isn't that glorious? Now, do you see how this paint's leaving a little bit of a mound? I'm gonna need to add a little bit more water to it. This is a combination of PBO Pebio Studio <laughs> Acrylics, and that is their Blue Vert Iridescent, and I added to it the Artist Loft Philo Green. Nice combination right here, guys. This right here. Oh, get out of here, Mr. Fly. I thought I took care of you. Do you see him flying around there? This right here, best copper on this earth as far as I'm concerned. That's golden fluid acrylics in the iridescent copper. Absolutely no water was needed in this. So one part paint, one part Liquitex pouring medium, a half a part of GAC 800 and a squirt of Floetrol and we were good to go. This is yummy guys. Absolutely heartwarming, delicious right there. That is Golden Fluids, the Q word, oh, I almost tried to say it, the Q word, Nickel Azo Gold. And I richened it up a little bit because it had too much of an orange hue for me um, to go along with these colors. So I richened it up with the Golden Fluids 
burnt sienna. It is so much fun, guys, playing with these paints, coming up with new and beautiful colors that just kind of kind of take my breath away every once in a while. Base coat. We didn't talk about it. I showed it to you. It is Artist Sloth Soft Body Acrylics with a couple of tablespoons of the Deco Art Satin Enamel. Mix the same way with one part paint. Let's start over with that one part Liquitex Soft Body in the white. Two tablespoons of the Deco Art Satin Enamel in the pure white. Then one part Liquitex Pouring Medium, a half a part Golden GAC 800, a squirt of Floetrol, and water until the paint dissipates immediately when it rolls off the popsicle stick into the paint below. Now, I have another cup here. This is just the Artist Loft Soft Body in White. There's no satin enamel in it. When I use this cup, it's going to be in areas where I prefer not to get any pearl cells. So we're just kind of playing, guys. We've got our pearl cell base coat with the Artist Loft and the Deco Art Satin Enamel and the Artist Loft No Pearl Cell um, base coat color with just the Artist Loft No Deco Art Satin Enamel. Now, in this little container, haven't decided if I'm using it, this is just the Satin Enamel Pure White mixed with Liquitex, a squirt of Floetrol, and a little bit of Golden GAC 800 and water. I might do a little paint injections, guys. So we will see. I'm just down here to play, to experiment, to do what I love to do best. Well, it's one of the things I love to do best, guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy. Music